This video is about strength of thought, for thoughts create words and words beget behavior, and thus we can discern true character. It is in my nature to shine light into my own dark corners. I have a tendency to shine a light in any dark corner that I encounter. Back in the early 90s, I took steps towards a free fall into the rabbit hole. As I was spiraling down the deep abyss, I was consumed with thoughts of how did this happen. It began with a phone call to tell me that everything I had done over the past five years, my entire life savings that I invested was gone. It was over. My image of whom I thought I should be according to social construct disintegrated with that single phone call. I felt naked. My ego was stripped to the core as all outer pretenses were exposed. I was so extremely vulnerable. As I strove to recover, I created my compass rose to help guide my way back. A Native American wanted to know about the circle with the cross as he called it. As I explained it to him, he abruptly left, leaving me there totally bewildered. He came back to tell me I was not ready. My ego was untamed. And then in that moment, I knew I had to do some serious self-examination. That year was 1999, and today as I create these little videos, I find I am still ferreting out those last hidden bits and dark corners. As keenly as I see it in myself, unfortunately, I'm acutely aware of it in others. In these times of isolation, I have the news broadcasting, and it presents quite a challenge, because when I hear our president doing the me, 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 I get my handy little spotlight out and turn it on. I can feel myself slowly drifting below the line in thought as my judgment of him surfaces. However, I applaud his courage, a courage he does not realize he possesses. To reveal his dark corners to all the world is far greater anything I could ever hope to achieve. Just as I release any judgment, I hear all about Easter and his timeline to jumpstart the economy. My mind goes dark again and I slip lower into the void. What big machine, what investors, what campaign manager is pushing him down his own rabbit hole, potentially bringing all of us with him? My mind races as I question this special day he keeps repeating over and over. What do I know other than Easter is about resurrection and also know his wounded ego? So the thought evokes the question, does he identify with the second coming of Christ? As quickly as that thought surfaces, my heart fills with fear. And because I know that energy attracts like energy, it's no surprise that Dan Patrick calls out of his own dark corner to announce that he believes that the vulnerable need to sacrifice themselves. I am truly left confused with the ideals for which this party stands. Now my mind fully grown dark, I grope for the spotlight once again. The self-talk begins. Okay, girl, it says, how are you going to climb out of this rabbit hole? Giddy up, because time's a wasting. And just as I ponder this, the voice of angels wafts over the airwaves and into my heart. I know I hear truth. I hear compassion and caring. I hear guidance. I feel trust. I see strength, real strength. And I'm thankful every day that these individuals are on the planet at this time. Climbing back to center, I tap into my creative side, reaching once again. In the next breath, I am affirmed by one of God's greatest miracles of life. Good job, Linda, I say. And then I post this.